This video will cover some of the more well-known pros and cons of gestation and farrowing crates for sows in the commercial industry. Farrowing and gestation crates stop fighting and bullying among sows, as well as the mounting of sows by other sows, which is a common problem with group housing. This mounting can cause cuts and lacerations, leading to bacterial infections and an overall reduction in quality. This also provides more individual tension per sow from the workers. The farrowing crates restrict movement, which reduces piglet mortality by keeping the sows from laying on her own piglets, which can happen in the wild. Because of the reduction in piglet mortality, the number of piglets per weaned per sow is increased, which raises the possible profit per sow. The slatted floors of the crates keeps the sow and piglets from lying in their own excrement. The treatment of sick and injured sows also becomes easier and safer for both the individual sows and the workers. The crates allow more sows to be housed per farm, which means more possible piglets per sow, raising the possible profit overall. The slatted floors also means that collecting excrement is easier, which producers can then sell for fertilizer and manure. Now the crates do pose some problems. The restricted movement of the sows can lead to joint and muscular problems, possibly even impaired mobility down the line, as well as a reduction in bone strength. Now the sows being unable to root and build nests can cause or lead to some depression and stress or other symptoms of the like. This also limits the social interaction which can also lead to symptoms like depression. Now there are some health problems also. Being in crates and not moving for a long time can cause skin lesions or bed sores. They are more common in the stalls, but they are very easily treatable. Sows also can bite and chew the bars, which can lead to teeth problems. And possible exposure to high levels of ammonia, which can lower immune function and makes disease incidents more common. But those are also very easily treatable with proper hygiene and management procedures.